Ooh. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, two or two. Ha ha ha! Not bad, coach. Yeah. What's up guys, this is Evan Fournier. Today's my day off. Uh, we're gonna cook uh, some lunch, we're gonna hit some balls, we're gonna walk the dog, and uh, I'll show you guys my closet. Let's go. All right guys, uh, let's put some gibbets on my Crocs. Uh, so I've picked uh, eight of them. Um, so, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the hoop, basketball hoop. Uh, I got the uh, Xbox, uh, controller. I'm actually more of an Xbox guy than PlayStation. Uh, I'm, I'm not that big of a of a gamer, but you know, I play 2K obviously. Uh, I picked the T-Rex. Uh, growing up, I was uh, I wanted to be an archaeologist, uh, so I'm a big dinosaur guy. Uh, pine tree. To be honest, I'm not sure why it just looks good. The basketball, obviously. Um, some headphones. Uh, you know, music is very important uh, for me, especially pre-game, you know, it gets me really in the zone, focus, and uh, it really helps me, you know, uh, with my uh, energy, you know. Uh, my favorite, my favorite artist, um, French rappers mostly, but uh, American uh, music, I, I would go with Drake, Rick Ross, um, and, uh, well, he's not American, but Burner Boy, uh, you know, I really like him. Who are some of your favorite French rappers? French rappers? Uh, Kerry James, he's from, uh, he's from my area in uh, Paris, 94. Um, Niska, and uh, where the, our Jay-Z is uh, Booba, so there we go. You ever try and teach your teammates about the French rap? It's a lost cause, man. I can't. No, I can't teach them anything in French. <laughs> no, but they, they, they definitely uh, hear me play my my music for sure. Well, I mean, on off days, you know, uh, it's all about comfort, right? So, uh, you know, whenever I need to go outside or uh, go pick my son up or something, you know, I just put my Crocs on. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. It's uh, it's for all weather, and uh, and yeah, it's uh, it's been with me for a minute now. All right, man, let's take a look at my closet. Uh, you guys know I'm from France. Uh, style is big in France, so I gotta represent. Uh, swag has to be on point. Uh, so I have a few pieces uh, for you that I'm gonna show you guys. So I would describe my style as uh, versatile. You know, I like to uh, be able to do a lot of things, I wear pieces with, uh, you know, different events, so casual. So this this is something that that's that's re really nice in my opinion. Uh, this is like leather on the, uh, on the sides. Um, this is actually a limited uh, edition. I think there's only like a thousand of them. That's the good thing about being in New York is that now I can actually do some, some real shopping. Uh, when I was back in Orlando and Denver, uh, everything was online. And, you know, I'm tall guy, so sometimes, you know, clothes are too too short or too too big. And now I actually get to, uh, yeah, like go to the store and, and, and try everything on. So uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> I think my fashion style is, uh, the key word is versatile. I want to be able to achieve multiple looks, uh, multiple styles. I enjoy wearing a little bit of everything. Uh, I would say um, what I enjoy wearing the most is probably stuff that are you know classy with a little bit of an edge, casual, and you know every now and then you know uh, something a little crazy. So uh, dressing is a way of expressing yourself, and uh, I enjoy doing it. This is to me. That, that's that's like an essential like you know you gotta have that in your closet because it, it, it literally goes with everything give a little shout out to New York this is a, a bit more I'd say uh, dressy another jacket uh, from a New York designer uh, it actually says uh, <laughs> chess club I, I've, I've never played chess in my life but I, I think the, the jacket looks dope uh, it's a little big so it's it's really more of a relaxed fit in my opinion I, I was born and raised in Paris, so obviously uh, known as the, the, the world's capital of uh, fashion. It's, it's big back home because there's so many uh, uh, like designers, but you know, fashion is everywhere. You know, it's in the streets, in, in every city, in every country, it's just different. Um, and so growing up, you know, we, uh, 
we always uh, looked at uh, you know fashion weeks and stuff like this and maybe hoping one day we would get in and uh, I've had the occasion to go to one actually so it was fun. Compared to other cities in America I'd say that um, New York's fashion is uh, is different in the sense that there is more style than anywhere else. Uh, you will find literally everything in the same street. You can literally sit on the bench for you know uh, 30 minutes and you're going to see so many different styles, so many different haircuts. And that's why New York is New York. Um, and that's why, you know, I, I always talk about en energy and uh, the energy that, that this city gives you is just different. All right, man, that's it for my closet. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it's time to go for a walk now, so I'm going to put on some sweats and uh, let's go. All right, so it's time for a walk. Uh, I usually go along the Hudson River. It's real nice. Uh, it's actually not too cold today. Uh, sun is out, it's, it's gonna be a good time, so uh, let's, let's get it going. See you, yeah. So, my dog Simba, uh, he's 10 years old, so um, I got him my uh, last year as a professional when I was in France uh, before I got drafted. He actually loved Denver because of the snow. Uh, he loves it here as well, so Florida was a little hot for him. He, uh, he, yeah, he's been my best friend for 10 years now. Uh, that's my first dog ever. I take him out to walk alongside the, um, the Hudson River because uh, it's, it's really nearby. And but I really want him to, you know, have fun and go to Central Park because there's a bunch of dogs there. But I, I really like to hang out uh, and stop along the, the, the Hudson River. Uh, and you know, at night there's all the building lights. It's beautiful. It, I mean, it's just nice, you know, uh, there's, there's a little bit of uh, grass for him to, you know, have fun. Like I said, the energy is different here. So I really like to hang out around, you know, town so I can, you know, feed off that. And uh, I mean, you know, you can look at people like they're all stylish. They all have, you know, energy and they're all doing their things. And, uh, and yeah, that contributes to me playing on the court, you know, because you feed off that. introduce you to my chef, uh, Chef Simon uh, from France. Uh, we met six years ago uh, through Snapchat, actually. Uh, <laughs> he contacted me via Snapchat and uh, we're gonna have lunch today. So, uh, chef, what's for lunch? So, today I'm gonna make uh, some salad, like a spinach salad with some chicken and protein. We're gonna have some sweet potatoes for the carbs, tomato, olives, a little bit of cheese and some avocado. So what he cooks for me, uh, it's really me that, that asks, uh, depending on what I feel like uh, eating uh, on a particular day. He can do a lot of things. Uh, he can do pastries, he can do uh, food from pretty aware, you know, he, he, he knows how to do sushi. It's gonna sound cliche, but I like, like crepes. I, I just love it. But the number one thing I'd say is like wine. It's not a dish, I know, but it's, it's, you know, French wine is the best. So actually one day it was a, I went to the game, the basketball game for the Magic. Back in Orlando. Yeah, back in Orlando. Yeah. And I, like, maybe like a week later he posted something about some candy. And I sent him a DM. I was like, oh dude, like, can you bring me some, uh, some candy you know, from uh, back home? And then he was like, oh yeah. And we started talking. He was like, oh, so what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm a chef. And uh, from there I was like, oh, I might need a chef later on. And uh, that's how we get. That's how, like, maybe like a month later or something like that, yeah, one or like, two months later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Send me under the DM. Him, like, he was like, oh, "Are you still looking for a chef?" And I was like, "Yeah, definitely." And that, that's how we start. We start uh, getting in touch together. We get an interview, a week of training, and after that, I sign another contract with him. Yeah, so today he made me a, a nice little salad, spinach salad, with, you know, chickens. Like, I have uh, some macros that I have to hit, you know, proteins, carbs. Uh, and the fats, you know, have to hit a, like a certain amount uh, for my diet. Off season, I can eat more things, uh, have more cheat meals. Uh, during the season, you know, it's, it's pretty not strict, but I try to be careful. There's so many games, you know, you have to be careful. So we are uh, at the amenities level uh, of my building, and this is a golf simulator. I spent a little bit of time in here. Uh, every now and then. I'm not a pro golfer by any means. But uh, like I, I actually spent seven years in Florida and uh, you know, it's obviously known for golf courses. Uh, never did anything there. And uh, actually this guy got me into golfing a little bit. 
uh, <laughs> been playing in Orlando for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and so now that I have a golf simulator, I just, you know, hit ball sometimes. It's actually pretty good. No, I'm not. It is, it is. I'm, 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 really, <laughs> I'm really not, actually. But uh, do not judge my form. I'm a basketball player, all right? <laughs> Je vais t'envoyer un parpaing là. Là, j'ai fait 157 heures. Dude, you're doing pretty good. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> 166. The golf simulator room uh, is, yes, yeah, I actually spend quite some time in there. Uh, I try to work on my uh, uh, swing. I never play golf ever, so that's that's my way of learning, I guess. Uh, I'm kind of learning on my own. Simon, you know, my chef, plays a lot, so he kind of gives me some pointers, but that's it. And uh, I'm honestly not good at all, so there's, there's, there's not much to say. <laughs> you know, at some point, I think I'm, I'm going to start working on, on golf seriously uh, because I have more and more friends that get into it. And, you know, ultimately, that's, that's something you want to do with your friend. Uh, you know, have fun during the summer, uh, golf with them, talk about whatever, and just uh, compete, you know, because uh, that's, that's the fun part. Ooh. Okay. That's a good one. Shit, not bad. Yeah. I mean, two or two. Ha 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 ha! Not bad, coach. Yeah.